Hi everyone, my name is Igor Macedo Silva and along with my partners at the Laboratory of Parallel Architectures for Signal Processing at Federal University of Rio Grande do Norte, we have developed the Severo, which is a soft error hardened SOC for aerospace applications. In this presentation we're going to talk about radiation induced faults and mitigation techniques, a brief explanation, and then we're going to go on to talk about the software hardened SOC proposal and then about system validation results and conclusion. So on to radiation induced faults and mitigation techniques. Some of the first problems that digital circuits uh, face when dealing with, with a space environment is the effect of radioactive particles. The first reports about these effects date from the 50s, but only a few years later, in the 70s and in the 80s, uh, researchers have developed comprehensive studies that have uh, elucidated uh, the causes and the effects that these particles have on digital circuits. A simple definition is that radioactive particles induce faults in electronic devices due to a disturbance in the electric field which generates electron hole pairs in sensitive parts of the transistor and these pairs may be later collected by the devices and the main effect that these electron hole pairs may cause is that the state of the, the device may flip from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1 and this change of state may later be related to an error in the device so, in order to uh, avoid this situation, researchers have developed mitigation techniques which may be categorized in a few different abstraction layers. As we can see, we, we have radiation hardened by process, which uses enhancement on the process by using selected materials, insulation layers, doping levels, or using proprietary fabri fabrication steps. Other techniques are labeled as radiation hardened by design and they modify circuit layout and composition of logic gates and memory cell to harden against radiation. And the last one is radiation hardened by architecture, which improves modules in the processor microarchitecture such as register files, arithmetic logic units, adding extra fault tolerance features to them. So using solely RHBA techniques we have developed the Severo SOC, which is based on RISC-V instruction set and uses the PULP platform. And this platform is focused on low energy consumption, high processing capacities and a wide range of applications. Uh, this SOC uses a simple organization with separated instruction and data memory, two cores, IBEX cores which are from the PULP platform, and the fault tolerant module. In this image, we can see a visual representation of the SOC with the FTM in the middle connecting with both cores and the main core, zero, connecting with instruction memory and data memory. So this system is supposed to run in a lockstep execution with result comparison during the regist register writing and both cores share the inter interconnection bus with memory and the core zero is the leader it drives communication with memory. And the main idea is that this SOC should save the states of a process during the lockstep execution and when a fault happens it should detect this fault and correct by restoring the safe internal state that was pre previously saved and resuming the process in this state. In this image we have the inner pieces of the fault tolerance module. We can see the comparator the, and the controller and by their side is the safe general purpose register and the safe program counter which are basically copies of the GPR and the PC registers but they should be implemented with ECC and scrubbing in order to resist effects from radi radioactive particles. So the comparator receives data from both cores and compares the results and if it, there is any error 
it sends a signal to the controller which then initiates the cycle to recover the data from SGPR and SPC and place this data back into the registers of both cores. When an error is detected by the comparator, uh, this data is saved into the G SGPR and SPC. So in this methodology, we intend to validate base tolerance to bit flips in the system by using the execution of a Fibonacci sequence generator. So the program should be loaded into instruction memory and execution begins. Both cores should execute the same instruction at the same time and at any given time. An error is induced by a built-in fault injection module in the program instruction. So the results we have from this procedure is that the test was executed multiple times and the expected result was confirmed and the module proved effective to detect error at any exact moment when a difference between program instructions are coming from either one of the cores. The system uses a total of 40 clock cycles to complete the entire recovery process and this number is fixed because it, it only depends on the number of registers to recover. So in conclusion, we have this solely RHBA SOC which eases development time and costs. It is a lock step dual module redundancy design in conjunction with a state recovery and ECC protected register files in a fault tolerant module. Validation happens with a standard Fibonacci generator in a fixed recovery time and this proof of concept system opens the path to a future development of a more robust system on the ship. Thank you everyone and this is my contact if you have any questions.